U.S. President Joe Biden on December 12 told Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky not to give up hope in his country's fight against Russia's invasion, saying the U.S. Congress should fund additional aid. Biden also announced $200 million in separate military assistance for the country, heading into winter, with tens of thousands of Ukrainians dead, a yawning budget deficit and Russian advances in the east. Zelensky is asking Washington to provide badly needed support some Republicans particularly those with the closest ties to former President Donald Trump, oppose more Ukraine aid and are asking about the war aims and how U.S. money is being spent. They say any further money must be paired with changes to immigration policy an exceptionally divisive issue in U.S. politics, other Republicans questioned whether additional aid would help Ukraine defeat Russia after a summer offensive that has failed to yield clear gains. And they keep going when no price is paid. A threat to America, to Europe and the world only keep rising if we don't act. And I intend that we act. The American people, Democrats and Republicans, uh, alike, I think, understand this. And they understand the very real fight that's going on right now. In the winter, this winter, Putin plans once again to bombard Ukraine's electric grid, intends to, with rockets, and uh, plunging families in the darkness in the coldest part of the year and doing great damage. We can't and won't let him succeed. We mustn't let him succeed now. Mr. President, I called on Congress to do the right thing, to stand with Ukraine and to stand up for freedom. And I want to thank you for being here. You're going to help the cause. And I don't want you giving up hope. Thanks so much, Mr. President. Dear journalists, uh, I really let the journalists, uh, I really let me hear the White House indeed, and share some very important messages. Thank you. They prove every day that Ukraine can win. And our forces are advancing, and we have successfully defeated Russia in the Black Sea. And that's significant. Ukraine is gradually becoming less dependent on aid, and we are moving to the right, I think, right direction. And I want to discuss with the president <coughs> how how to strengthen it especially enhancing our air defense and ability to destroy Russia's logistics. Our goals for 24 are clear. Take away Russia's superiority and disrupt their offensive operations. Security, yesterday I met with the IMF and World Bank. They impressed with the Ukraine's economic growth, almost 5%. And that's significant. Ukraine is gradually becoming less we also need to work faster with the frozen Russian assets, over 300 billion frozen uh, assets from terrorists, and we should use it to protect against Russian terror. And I want to talk about some details regarding our reforms and EU integration. Ukraine continues to reform its institutions even during the war. It's very important for us, and we are successful. I think that's very important. The people need to be confident that freedom is secure and strong enough to win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before the press, before the press, whoa, 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 hush up a second, okay? Here, one more thing to I just signed another $200 million drawdown for the Department of Defense for Ukraine, and that'll be coming quickly. Thank you. Thank you very much.